Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 with the brand new DLSS update. And today, it's time for another 4K gameplay, this time recording at 30 FPS so it won't hurt the performance as much as it would at 60 as it, you know, the previous 4K benchmark was being recorded at 60 because I had hopes it would actually get anywhere near 60, which it doesn't really. So I decided to change the recording to 30 FPS and guess what? We got 10 more frames under the same settings, surprisingly enough. I mean, not very surprisingly because recording at 4K 60 is very demanding. But so we're playing at 4K, 40 FPS, ultra settings, everything on ultra, DLSS is set on auto. So it's going to dynamically change the settings as needed if, you know, there's a situation where there's a bunch of trees or lighting, something that really demands extra power. So it will, you know, uh, upscale from a lower res and then dynamically change once it feels like, hey, we, we can actually, you know, uh, bump this up a little bit more. Uh, improving the quality and consequently keeping the same frame rate. So that's why I went for auto instead, which I, from what I've been testing around, it seems to be the most logical setting for the 2070 for a very solid 4K experience. You're not going to be getting anywhere near 60. Forget about 60 on ultra settings, but it's good enough. It's fully playable, honestly. Uh, let's check the settings first and foremost, because, you know, it's the whole point of the video. You can see we have VSync on. We have stuff bumped up cdlss is on auto uh, dx12 everything on ultra high is maxed out as far as it can go water physics i didn't really bother with because we know it does affect performance way too much for a little gain but yeah here we are in a hotel just vibing 41 fps let's get outside shall we 45 i'm getting nearly the same performance i used to get pre pre update in quad hd so that's very impressive right there it's a little less like 5 fps less than i would but the fact that it's 4k and i'm muting about the same performance i would in quad hd like it's insane and it's looking fantastic as you can tell like visually very very pleasing it's getting You're dark so we're, we're gonna be able to uh kind of measure how much it, it will perform uh, how much it will drop uh, in nighttime compared to like quad HD which is the my usual uh, setting you know pre DLSS before the update I would play a quad HD with everything maxed out blocked the 30 FPS it was a very nice solid experience cannot complain like no complaints at all it was very nice i loved it i played through the entire game right. no problem but you know 4k being a reality now for me is impressive it's Hello. like it's like i'm playing red dead redemption remastered red dead Hello. redemption 2 so remastered far, even though it's not but i mean because like i played for the first time on xbox 900p 30 fps low settings and then i played it on PC, Quad HD, Ultra, and it was like mind blowing. And now I can play in 4K, so I'm like, wow, Nvidia, you really did it somehow. Like, there's nearly no compromise. Like what I, what what you see here is very close to native. Obviously, obviously, uh, from afar you can tell there's a slight drop in quality. There's a little bit of artifacting Hello? here and there, but wowzers. This is, like, mind-blowing. I'm actually mind-blown. Like, I didn't expect it to run this well. Like, I was a little sad at first when I recorded my 4K gameplay because it was a 60 FPS uh, recording, so it was hitting performance a little bit too much. And I couldn't have this, the whole scope of how much it actually uh, improves the experience. And now, at 30 FPS, I get nearly native performance, like, uh... One perf one FPS drop, one two FPS stops. So like I'm I'm getting what I would naturally get without recording, and this is much better. I mean, look at this, on the wild, 37 FPS, just perfect. I mean, if you luck this at 30 FPS, it's gonna be rock solid 30, all across the board, no problem. We're gonna be 
coursing around for a little bit because I want it to get to nighttime so that we can actually see uh, see and measure the drop because back when TLSS was not a thing I remember trying it and the frames would drop to like 21 22 sometimes like horrible awful uh, not even five it would drop so much that it would just straight up ruin oh my god bounty hunters let's get away from here but now it's just a uh, it's clear as day like it doesn't dip it doesn't dip whatsoever Good this boy. is absolutely perfect Good. like i said before uh in the 4k video the first one you don't actually need 60 fps for this game 30 fps is more than enough like to enjoy it just look at this like my god it's uh it's so much better than before and visually it doesn't really differ that much i can hardly tell uh, mm, like maybe it's just me but i really cannot tell honestly like you really gotta concentrate hard to actually spot any difference I mean, like I said before, like buildings from afar, but landscape from afar doesn't really change that much, honestly. The grass doesn't change that much as it would if you go like on balanced or, or I mean, ultra performance mode, which it gets like the grass gets very thick. You can obviously tell, hey, there's upscaling going on. But under auto settings here, uh, it's just perfect. I would say this is the golden setting for the 2070 if you want to experience Red Dead Redemption in 4K. And I never thought this day would come. I kind of say I'm very happy. I never thought I would live to see the day when Rockstar would actually implement deep learning super sampling. This is something that should have come with the game. Like this would have, wow, changed the experience for everyone. Because even a 2060 can probably game a 4K. I wouldn't say 4K Ultra, but maybe a moderate 4K setting, like high Ultra-ish. Like I have my Quad HD preset. That would be enough for 30 FPS, I'm pretty sure. This is mind blowing. Like this is actually mind blowing. Look at that. We're around a bunch of trees, frames not dipping below 30 whatsoever. We have 35. Very solid experience. Like wow. The lighting Saddle. doesn't suffer from it like it would in Quad HD. Like I, I've tested uh, the LSS in Quad HD. It was a little cursed uh, lighting wise. Performance was not like much of a jump either. Like I was a little disappointed. I expected like 60 across the board. Then again, I was recording at 60 FPS. So that probably does hit performance a little bit. But even without recording, it wasn't much of a jump. I was expecting a lot more than that. So that was a little disappointing, but in 4K, that's when things really, you know, when I finally uh, realized the entire potential of the DLSS update, that's when things became clear as water. And uh, I'm very impressed. Like, this is a whole new experience, like, completely stutter free, perfect 4K. Back in the day, I would need at the very least. Uh, 2080 for that. Ooh, that was a sudden lighting change. But still, yeah, back in the day, without the LSS, I would certainly need uh, a 2080 for this. At the very least. For more than 30 FPS 4K Ultra. Maybe not even the 2080. Because I heard it struggled a little bit as well. So... It's basically a free upgrade in a sense. Like deep learning super sampling is really pog champ. I was I was afraid it would compromise the visuals a lot because as you know, like in Cyberpunk it does kinda hit the visuals. But then again, Cyberpunk's very demanding, so I could not even go any further than like quad HD. So and like the super sampling only gets like very very uh, useful at 4K. Like 4K is the sweet spot for the DLSS. 4K and above, I would say even 8K would benefit from it, obviously. But like the sweet spot is definitely 4 or 8K, where you can actually see, uh, where you can actually benefit from it, because it's hard to tell the difference. It's really, really hard to tell. Once you're below 4K, it kind of gets easier because things get like thicker, like the grass. Textures get a little like rough. You can really, 
quality. You can really tell that it's not native. But in 4K, it becomes quite a challenge to spot. You really gotta have like a very, very uh, tuned like eyesight to actually notice that kind of stuff. Maybe in screenshots, if you zoom in, you can, hey, this is not native. But like their eye without paying much attention, it just doesn't look any different. With the difference that it runs a lot better, obviously. Like if I disable the LSS, I'm gonna go down to like 25, 26, give or take. And it's not gonna look anywhere as amazing as it's looking right now. Like, you know, be anywhere as crisp. I mean, uh, I mean, it wouldn't perform Crazy. solidly. Not, not look, uh, I mean, it would look better because it's native res, geez. But frame rate would be quite a PowerPoint presentation. And we're having the opposite of that, the very opposite. It's darkening, so soon enough we're going to be able to see the lighting in action and how much it's going to hurt the frames. I'm a little scared because like I just installed an update, I recorded a quad HD benchmark, then that 4K one, and then I closed the game open again and I'm recording a 4K 30 so that it doesn't hurt FPS as much. And finally, we're gonna be able to see whether nighttime hurts FPS or not in this situation. Hopefully not, but in 4K native, it would be quite a hit. Like honestly, mega hit. That would make the frames just disappear. That was kind of sad, honestly. But yeah, because like I could play native 4K during daytime at like 29, 30 FPS, which is playable. But then nighttime it would get down to 21, which is unplayable, honestly. As much as I mean, if you really want to play the game, you know, if you have like a, a very uh, weak kind of system and you want to play a specific game that you, your computer cannot co quite cope with, well, 21 is okay, 720p, low settings, you know, living the gamer life, fair enough, fair enough, but in a situation where you can just drop the res or drop the quality a little bit to get higher frames, 21 is just unplayable, if you have another option, if you can actually but if 21 is all you can get, like it depends on the situation, like I mentioned. If it's all you can get, then yeah, it's playable. But if you can get 60 other, other res, uh, resolution settings, then no, I wouldn't say so myself, no. But yeah, it's dark, we got the lights going, and look at that, 35 FPS. Oh my god. Could it be that it actually doesn't hurt performance? Could that be the case? Or am I dreaming? We have 35 rain and night lighting and FPS is still the same. What the hell? Okay, now, and now I'm very surprised, honestly. I didn't expect that. Let's get into the city and see whether that does change. I can tell it's slightly more stuttery than before. Like there's a little bit a hiccup but hardly noticeable nonetheless it's ever so slightly more stuttery but look at that 25 oh, yeah. fps oh shoot the cops oh this is a problem I'm gonna get away from here oh this is a problem okay so now we have escape situation I hope that you don't kill my horse please don't please don't kill horsey oh my god it's a problem I didn't expect you to get caught Just searching now. They cannot get me. I'm way too fast. I'm OP. Look at that. 36. We, we're running, boys. We're running. They cannot get me. I'm, I'm fast. I'm a ninja. Look at me. Look at me go, boys. 30, 36 FPS. Wowzers. This is just straight up impressive. I mean, this is 4K Ultra, for God's sake. Recording with a 2070, and it's just not sturdy. It's not a sturdy mess like it would have been natively, and visually, it doesn't change much. I'm very impressed with that. By that, I mean. But goddamn, look at that. Okay, there was stutter right there, but just a slight one. Back to the usual 35. Wow, 35 FPS. That's very impressive. I mean, 
It's something they won't hear often, you know? I, it's rare, someone saying like, oh, 35, that's impressive. That's Red Dead Redemption, that's a very demanding one. Ultra setting. 35 is like a win-win. I would be using a 25 at most, native. And without any compromise. Like, you really gotta be looking for it if you wanna see any sort of visual compromise. Like, honestly, this just looks great. I'm, I'm very happy, very satisfied with this update so far. And I will be uh, recording more videos and sending me. I just don't wanna go there now because I got 1k USD bounty on me, so that would be a little bit. I would probably get killed. But, um, eventually. Later this week, I'm definitely gonna go to send an email for the bench right there for you guys. So that you guys can see that, yeah, as it does. Oh, hold up. I hope it does hold up. Because I haven't been to send it yet. But so get there. And I'm pretty positive because performance didn't differ much. It didn't differ much from uh, Valentine and Sunny, e, despite Sunny e being a much larger city. It would just uh, impact the city. Performance wise, uh, not really. GPU usage is basically the same. Sorry. Oh boy. Why do updates always come out when I'm sick? This is great, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think we've seen more than enough here. Uh, you can tell frames are stable, rock solid, doesn't drop below 30 whatsoever in the auto setting. So if you want to play a 4K with your 2060, the time is now. DLSS is salvation. Dreams do come true. And uh, we've waited this long, and now it's time to just reap the reward. And then we haul a lot around uh, Valentine and Saint Denis because it is finally here, boys. The updates here, the LSS, the dream. We would say, kind of jokingly, imagine you know the LSS and Red Dead Redemption. Imagine being able to play in 4K, no problem. And now we can! It's not imagination no more. It's a reality. It's here. It's solid. It's concrete. And I'm very, very happy because it doesn't really take anything away from the visual experience it would provide natively. Like, wow. I'm, uh, I'm speechless. Definitely gonna be making more, a lot more uh, Red Dead Redemption content now. A couple gameplays, I guess, maybe without comments, just kind of walking around, shooting stuff, who knows. Just for the sake of it, you know, because this game deserves praise, I mean, visually very, very impressive. Look at that, just look at that. 31, okay, that was the lowest point so far, but yeah, it's just straight up impressive. Of things considered so i see you guys in the next one hope you guys enjoyed this short video and uh keep on e-hauling my cowboys adios <laughs>